Yeah, 31st of October, and I'm still going out on the water. Join me. As you can see from outside, it's a very dreary kind of looking day. Uh, the forecast virtually the whole week leading, leading up today was showing Sunday was going to be a really nice day. Uh, it's meant to have been sunny. Uh, that was on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Even Friday, it was still saying sunny. And Saturday, it changed to rain. Uh, but with brightness in the afternoon, around about 12, 1 o'clock, it's meant to be sunny for a few hours. Well, it's now 12.30 and I don't see any blue sky and it's only just stopped raining. So uh, I'm not gonna let that stop me from getting out and having a bit of fun on the water. Um, a bit of drizzle's fine, doesn't bother me. I've got my waterproofs. Um, but the weather's great. It's actually showing 10 degrees actually right now, which is quite nice, light breeze, it's quite mild. So uh, I'm gonna stick to the river, like I said, uh, mainly for safety reasons. The lake's been a bit choppy. Uh, it's a little windier out there today. So I'm gonna stay away from there. And I thought today would be a great day to check out the river, see if we see any fall colors, see what we can find out there, and just enjoy our ride up to Chippewa and then on beyond. And uh, yeah, make the most of the, the calm weather I've got today. And we're gonna find somewhere to launch just up here. There's a spot I used a couple of times in the, uh, back in the spring and early summer, which I launched from here. In fact, when I went to the air show in Buffalo, which is where we launched from up here. There's the uh, river, the Niagara River, upper Niagara River. Looking forward to getting out of the water. Looks nice. I think I might be the only person out there though. Do I still have to pay this time of year? Still 10 bucks, I think. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Out of order, perfect, it's free. Free, I like free. Nigel's cheap vlogs, remember? All right, let's get my uh, winter gear on and let's get in the water. we go anywhere so get the uh, Garmin set up get that turned on get this camera set up so we can see where the shots we're doing and so on so it's gonna let it warm up a little bit and while we wait uh, mouth full of coffee it's good my own today so I'll make sure the radio is with me I've told everyone where I'm going today so the wife knows I'm traveling between uh, the Peace Bridge and Chippewa today uh, and that's basically my extent I may go to the Welland River as well so I'm not gonna be too far away from shore at all times and uh, if you're new to my channel hello my name is Nigel the channel is Nigel's Cheap Vlogs and mainly what I do on my channel is uh, in the spring summer and fall it's <laughs> sea view life adventures and uh, when I'm not doing that I'm chasing storms in the Niagara region and when I'm not doing that as well I'm doing some Niagara adventures as well on foot uh, but right now I'm coming towards into the season so I'm still doing my uh, sea view life stuff as much as I can so to give you a little reference where I am I'll bring you up on the map right now somewhere around about here and anyway this is uh, I'm on the outskirts of Fort Erie and just across from me right now is uh, the other side of Buffalo New York so that is New York right there New York State you can see it right there it's literally about 300 meters or about 400 meters away from me. New York, America. So hello, uh, United States of America. And to all my subscribers over there. So right, anyway, um, it's warmed up now. So let's uh, make our way up towards Chippewa. Oh, my eyes. <laughs> the wind 
wind's a little cold, but I got a new trick. Oh, where are they? <laughs> now I'm ready. What's that look like? Yeah, I'm ready for the cold. <laughs> wow. I get some gloves on too. Things are getting put away for the winter. All the boats here have been uh, shrink wrap ready, winterized. There isn't many people left out on the water. I uh, saw so about four or five fishing little boats just down that end. And that's really it. All the pleasure craft are gone. Uh, the majority of this jet ski that would have been winterized by now is only a few of us still out uh, enjoying the, the last bit. This guy though, <laughs> wow, is he, um, I don't know, did they just forget? I think they're ghosts. 
But as I drove by, I seriously thought it was Ku Klux Klan. Why would I think that here? I do not know. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's strange. Let's take it a bit closer. There's a hell of a strong current here. As soon as I stop, he's pulling me really fast. So, try oh yeah, definitely goes. I can see him now, definitely goes. That's a nice house. Very nice, I like that. Very modern looking. Cool. The shame is so gray out right now. Uh, it doesn't do justice for any of the colors. But uh, we'll get to Navy Island, which is just a little bit further ahead. Maybe I'll get some nice colors up that way. But uh, nice homes along here, like I said. behind me is uh, the historic Navy Island. Um, now you ask, why is it historic? I'll have to tell you. Navy Island is a small and uninhabited island in the Niagara River in the province of Ontario, managed by Parks Canada as a historic site of Canada. Navy Island was settled by the Mocha people in approximately 2000 BC and Meadowwood Cultures people in 1000 BC. In 1837, William Leon Mackenzie and about 200 of his supporters captured the island and proclaimed the Republic of Canada. Then in 1838, the rebels were forced from the island as they retreated across the river back to the United States. In 1875, the Queen's Hotel was established as a popular summer resort on the island's south side, but it was destroyed by fire in 1910. Uh, farms and orchards were also located on the northeast, south, central, and northwest and southwest islands ends of the islands. Hang on, that's basically all the four corners, right? Uh, since abandoned, most of the farmlands have been reforested. Uh, most trees on the island are oak or hickory. If you want any more information, just visit uh, Navy Island's Wikipedia like I just did. And that is why Navy Island is historic. Also, you're not meant to be on the land here. Uh, there's no uh, stepping foot, but quite a few people have done at the time. Uh, it's been very well maintained. I guess the uh, the Forestry Commission, the parks people maintain it all year round the best they can. So anyway, uh, right in front of me right now, Niagara Falls. Seen that a few times, haven't we? So uh, Niagara Falls, Navy Island, on the other side of Navy Island is the, uh, the US side. So what we're going to do, I'll go around the bend and we'll We'll technically sneak into the United States of America just very briefly uh, before we get in trouble. So uh, let's go and do that before we head up to Chippewa.
know if you're going to be able to see this. One second, I'll just come back out. Two minutes. Here he goes. America! I have crossed the international border uh, between Canada and the United States. I am technically now in United States waters. I've got to be careful because they're going to cheat me off at any time. But technically, I'm not meant to be here. Uh, but I have no intention whatsoever of stepping foot on land or going anywhere near the land. So I'm going to come over a little bit more towards that bridge and I'm going to turn back. But I am now in America, so technically I just crossed over the international border. America! Yeah! Bridges. This is a cool bridge. This is cool. Alright, so there we have it. We're in America. United States of America. And I'm going to head back before I get in trouble. So uh, let's go to Chippewa now. So America, we'll see you in the spring. Because next year, um, when the spring comes and the borders not when the cross the borders fully open, uh, I plan on doing a lot more uh, sea do adventures uh, in the States. Um, especially down Lake Erie, we cross over, make some landings like Buffalo, down to Dunkirk, and way down to Ohio as well. So I've got a lot planned for the sea do adventures come next spring and summer. So uh, make sure you stick, make sure you visit back. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to your channel, it's a good time to do it right now. Hit that subscribe button because next year it's going to be epic for the Sea Doo Adventures. It really is. Anyway, uh, Chippewa Niagara Falls, let's go. approach Niagara Falls there's something missing from the water and if you're not from this area and you're jet skiing or what personal watercrafting right now you may screw up big time there's usually white markers along the water line round right about here that says do not enter they've gone so I didn't know the water around here I could have easily just carried on straight down there 
and I would have been in a shitload of trouble. So uh, if you're ever coming down this way, keep that in mind that once you get to Chippewa, once you see this in front of you, do not go any further. Do not go any further because uh, you will go over the falls and the chances are you will not get rescued. But see that line? Uh, that's, like the, that's like the water, uh, how they control the flow of the water there. Once you get to that, you are gone. There's no one's going to rescue you. No one. Though there is a couple of small little islands there you could get refuge on and then maybe you'll get a helicopter on which you won't. But the chances are that it's going to be slim. You will be, end up going over the falls and you'll die. So uh, keep that in mind. We've taken the, uh, keep the keep out notices. Really odd. Blue sky over towards Lake Ontario. So Lake Ontario would be over that way. Right there. That's, that's probably looking north right now. Hey, Chippewa's right here. Let's go to Chippewa. Be able to dock today by my sea do getting down because last time I came here and docked, uh, the dock sits a bit high out of the water. So if a boat comes and creates a wake, the sea do goes under, and I got my damage on my sea do at this particular dock. But because I'm the only person here today, I think I should be fine. So uh, I think we'll give it a go. Tim Hortons right there. All right, Chippewa. Much easier when there's no other boats around. So uh, I can now go into Tim Hortons and get something. And then uh, have a bite to eat. And then we'll head on down the Welland River and uh, chill out. Uh, medium coffee, one milk, one sugar, please. And a double toasted everything bagel with cream cheese. Thank you. All right. All right, go and chill out and uh, eat this and enjoy the peace and quiet here in Chippewa.
All right, got the coffee, had a quick, had a quick bite to eat, and uh, the sun's trying to come out. So we're going to head down the, uh, the river here, see how colourful it gets, and try and make it up to the QEW. Got to make it the most of the weather.